In the last installment, we finally figured out what to do in terms of cutting the planking rabbit, but there's much more to do before we steam in the frames this weekend. We need to prep the framing stock and cut the frame sockets. Arabella's frames notch into the keel timber, and as there are about 74 frames, we need to come up with a safe yet quick way to cut those frame sockets. The frame needs to get set flush with the background. Yep, yep, and how deep does it go in? It doesn't specify. Oh, <laughs> how fun is that? <laughs> oh, geez. So okay. my, my thought is that all I really need to be able to do is get like two screws in the frame. So Casey's been helping us out with a bunch of things lately and uh, we've got a lot going on before our weekend of steaming in the frames. So we outsourced a little project for him. Steve and I had an idea to uh, make a jig to cut the frame sockets. So that's what Casey came over for today. Well, and, and uh, you know, the three of us put our heads together uh, to kind of take a look at it and uh, they were going in one direction and I kind of went a little more low tech uh, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. And so we came up with a little bit simpler uh, jig for carving some of the uh, frame sockets out. And it combines a collared uh, router and a plunge cutter. It doesn't do the whole thing for us necessarily. Uh, we're gonna have to finish this up with a chisel, uh, but it's gonna get a lot of the, the work done for, the, for this weekend. So we're going to take out about half of uh, the material and then the frames will fit in uh, to what we need to take out next with the chisels uh, plopped down and we should be good to go after that. With the frame sockets well on their way to being figured out, Steve set Bob and Ryan up to start milling frame stock. And then there's a snapped chalk line on them, and then that chalk line can get cut. Yeah, it likes to go slow. Yeah. Let's do this. Come up farther away. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. So we had a little sliver here, and uh, this is the stuff we're milling up for framing stock. And there's a reason that you use somewhat green or even green white oak because uh, it bends really well. So obviously the thick timbers won't bend this easily, but you can see it does that with no steaming and no fracturing, no grain splitting, even with that hole in the knot. It's good stuff. Once the boards were milled up, they needed to be edge jointed and run through the planer but even with the brand new spiral cutter heads, the planers still had a hard time keeping up. So onto the bandsaw they went before being planed down to size and then split. Once split, the edges all needed to be cleaned up and it was a good thing we scheduled five awesome volunteers to help us get ready for the weekend, including Odie, who on top of helping with all of the work, made sure that we were all well fed, which was extremely helpful as we were a little bit behind schedule due to our delay trying to figure out cutting the planking rabbit. We still had all the frame sockets to finish routering and chiseling out. Even with Wes, Bob, Steve, and I working on those, it still took us well into the night to finish, at which point we also added some supporting rib bands between each of the ones that were already up. And then, the next morning, it was game on. We're going to walk everybody through the entire process of how the framing is going to go and what everybody's role is so we all know 
what everyone's doing and where everybody's moving. Because when a frame's coming out, we can't have anybody in the way. It needs to be a clean shot, and it needs to go from that steam box to bent in place as fast as we possibly can do it. This has got to be like, you ever see NASCAR and the pit crews? Yeah. This is like NASCAR pit crew of boat building. All right. So we're going to have Ryan in here, and Ryan's keeping track of the time. So we should have 20 minutes between frames. Um, so we'll put one in, we'll wait 20 minutes, we'll put another one in, we'll wait 20 minutes, we'll put another one in, and then they start rolling out, and they'll be coming out every 20 minutes. You're going to ratchet it, and what we're going to do is these are just going to slowly winch it down into place, and that's going to make sure that we hold it back far enough and that it doesn't move. As soon as that's locked, Wes and I are just going to start bending, pushing, prodding, rolling it down. And then Ross and Joe, you guys can be here with the bucket of C-clamps. And before the first frame comes out, you should get the C-clamps set to be just a little bit bigger than you need, so it's just a crank or two. I'll get in here, I'll grab it, I'll have Wes back here, I'll hand it up to Wes. And the two of us will plop it in, clamp the bottom, and we'll start walking it up. With everyone informed on the plan of action, all we had to do now was wait for the frames to steam. Pop it out, we're gonna have to see it longer. Yeah, they should just bend in. So 80 minutes is not enough. Nope, um, I would add, add another 15 to the timeline. Okay. So we'll just cycle this one out? Yep, you can just add this one back to the pile and or just she'll, she'll go another round a little later today. Or just put it back in? No, I wouldn't put it right back in, I would just put it on the pile. Um, they should bend easily. Yeah. Like reading Bud McIntosh's book, they should bend. It's not easy, you're doing something wrong. So, the first frame was pretty anticlimactic, but all we needed was a bit more time in the steam box. Alright, good job. Come on. Perfect. Yep. Alright. Clamp that ratchet, Joe. Alright, start pushing down less and I'll push against you. Yeah! There we go. Can you take it down a little bit more? Huh. Hold yeah, it, I'll be sure you wanted it where it was. Yep, that's good. Just... Ross, you can probably start clamping those down there too. The first couple frames had a bit of a learning curve, but each subsequent frame after that went smoother and smoother. Well, for the most part. Looks like it hit. Yay. Down she goes. Down she goes. Let's see if we can put the twist in it. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. Well, put the They've already got one up there too. It's so we'll just leave one of trying to bend it in place. It's going amazingly well. Okay, all right, well, well, let's see. Let's see. Set it back. Nice, there like we go. Yeah. So, we've got a couple There's splits cracking. down here and a couple splits Sorry. up there. So, I think this is our first one that didn't make the cut. Well, you knew so, we had one at least. Put the rest Better at break now than out in the middle of the ocean. So, out it goes. Its replacement, however, went in perfectly well which was a nice breaking point for a good lunch, thanks to Odie and Ben, along with a little extra supervision. I hate when I forget that. 
We got about 10 or 12 frames put in that first day and we're right back at it on Sunday. <laughs> we ended up getting a ton of work done this weekend and there's plenty to talk about and explain. But instead of trying to cram it all into this video, we're going to leave off here with a few highlights and do a little bit more of an explanation in the next video to come. Awesome, but the last one for the weekend, the lion's share of the frames are in, all the long ones are in. I'm a happy camper. We put in how many frames? 26. 26, and only two didn't make the cut. They didn't even break, they checked a little bit. I mean, they might have even been okay, but we had some really good oak. This is awesome. I'm psyched.